Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this dope ripple fade effect. It's actually really simple to do. And the last video I did on the similar effect, you guys really liked it. So I decided to drop another one. So let's just get started. So to start off, you can see these two clips lined up on my timeline. Actually, it was shot by Spooky. So big shout out to him as well. So to start off, go over to the last frame of your first clip. So as you can see, this is the last frame of my first clip. Before getting more into the video, I just like to give a little shout out to my newest pack OPM FX. As the name says, it comes with a bunch of OPM style of FX like fear test, CRT, and glitches and distortions for your music video. All are drag and drop and simple to use. And the best part is it is going for sale right now. So the prices are really low. The sale is for a very limited time. So if you want to grab it right now, I'll link it in the description and in the art card as as well but anyways let's get back into the video after that control d on your keyboard to duplicate the clip and you can see a duplication popped up now we're gonna right click on the duplication go over to time and in freeze frame just hit that so it like turns into freeze frame you can see it's a still frame now so this is exactly what we want now now just drag the freeze frame into another clip so it like goes into freeze frame like that around the duration of our original clip so it's like pretty slow because i found out like these type of slow transition looks like really impactful and like really professional as well but now to create that ripple we'll be using sapphire so if you don't already know sapphire is a plugin that is a popular plugin so i guess most of you guys have it if you don't you can purchase it or you can find some work around you know what i mean by that but anyways in here just add sapphire warp puddle in here you can see your sapphire warp puddle just add it into a clip and instantly you will get this like a ripple effect if you don't have sapphire puddle you can always like use like a turbulence displacement and bring up the size it won't give like the ripples but it will give like the displacement that we want which is cool but we're gonna use the warp puddle for now so let's just enable warp puddle right here and open this up and in the first frame make the amplitude to 0.09t so it's like 10 less then go over to frequency and you can set the frequency to 2 so we have this like big bulb going on and another little thing i like to do is get this like anchor point you can see and put it it on the corner because i think it looks like really impactful that way and bring the size of this so it like fits all of the scene and now hit the stopwatch on the amplitude and the frequency go over to your timeline select your clip and hit u to bring up the keyframe go over to the last frame and make the amount to zero and the frequency to one i guess yeah one or something around there after that select both of those keyframe actually and easy is those select your amplitude keyframe firstly go into graph and make a graph like this nothing too crazy nothing too tight as well something simple like this would work then now select your frequency keyframe go into graph again and make a similar graph on it so something like this yeah this looks pretty clean right here and always if you want like the ripple going on you can select those keyframe and, ex and extend them beyond so something like this yeah something like this would look cool but anyways you should have a ripple animation like this after that now we're gonna animate the opacity so it like properly fades out so select your freeze frame again now hit t on your keyboard to bring up the opacity hit the stopwatch in it hit the first frame hit the stopwatch go over to the last frame and just set it to zero so now we have played through you can see we already have the fade going on looks really clean right there and to transition through i like to add a little exposure in here exposure hit the stop in there put the first keyframe one or two frame forward and just bring up the exposure at the first frame so it like goes like that maybe that's too much around like three or something like that you can even extend the keyframe more yeah that looks pretty solid right there then after the exposure i like to add some blur in it for that i like to use universe so from universe i like to use unibox bouquet i think that's how we pronounce it but i'm not that sure this is one of my favorite effect from universe looks really cool i used that on the last video i talked about and we're using it again so in the first frame set the blur amount to 10 and hit the stopwatch go over to where you're like exposure keyframe ends and set it to zero as well so we have some blur also going on with it looks pretty cool like that you can always like play around with the keyframe again so something like this on it 
but yeah this looks pretty cool right here now as you can see our transition is pretty much done but it doesn't look that smooth to make it more smooth i like to do two more things so the first thing will be going into my second clip and adding like a twixter pro in it if you don't know what is twixter it is like a plugin which allows you to create those insane slow-mo without needing like a 60 fps footage or something so this is a really useful plugin i really recommend having this but anyways hit the stop button in the speed around where like your opacity keyframe ends and go over few frames and set it to 30 so it like goes into slow-mo as it goes maybe extending the keyframe more but anyways after you add like the slow-mo you can see it looks so smooth with the slow-mo combined and one more thing i like to do is add a little shake on this transition right here so it is a lot more cleaner so for that i'll be using my own shake pack if you have your own shake preset and stuff you can use that but i'm gonna use mine so i'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer right here and my fx and preset you can see i have the best one so i'm gonna add this from my pack you get a lot of shake in my pack as you can see but i'm gonna use the sd best one because it is like the best shake ever now i'm just gonna bring the keyframes like align it a bit around like here so it doesn't have too much impact as well now if i play through you can see it adds so much energy onto our transition so if you want to download the shake pack i'll link it in the description it's actually really really though it got used on a lot of big artist music video as well and it's one of the best sake pack out there right now i can surely guarantee that but anyways our final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i try to put in effort on every single video of mine and bring something new to you guys so just hitting the subscribe button will mean the wall to me you can also join in my discord server you can find like-minded people like you in there so yeah see ya tomorrow peace